Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. In today's video, we got some new images and concept art of the new Minion Land coming to Universal Studios Florida, which have a variety of things in uh, restaurants, shops, and activities, as well as a new ride, Min Minion Land Villain Blast. Let's talk about the ride first. So, it was first reported by Alicia Stella a long time ago, months and months ago. This will be a moving walkway attraction. You can see it here in the concept art on the very bottom. You see the people, the children, and the minions are standing on what looks like an airport conveyor belt type moving walkway, which uh, you you know usually you put your luggage on and goes through the conveyor system. So that is the confirmation of the moving walkway, and it actually looks like some potential teases of some show scenes here. Um, if there's some kind of crab contraption down below, then there's like a tank, and then maybe like a racing sequence, and of course. The most important part, the blasters. You'll be using those blasters seen in the concept art to play the games um, as you travel along moving this moving walkway. It'll be like a similar version to Midway Mania, but just without a ride vehicle. And you won't, probably won't be stopping the whole time, probably be slowly moving um, throughout the whole show building. According to Universal Studios Florida, they have... They say this all new attraction challenges park guests to test their villainous skills in an interactive gaming experience. When you guys complete the challenge, guests will ex exit through Evil Stuff, which is the gift shop, which is an all new real uh, location featuring VillainCon and Min Minions merchandise. VillainCon um, is from Minions and then um, the Vicious Six, which you can see one of the members in the in the globe there. Um, the, she's voiced uh, by Traji P. Henson in the new movie, was from minions too additional details and including its opening date will be announced later on moving on next to the illumination theater the illumination theater will be next to the bake my day um restaurant or retail shop which we'll um, get to in the next segment but here but in this illumination theater it won't be for any like shows but it'll be a massive immersive meet and greet location you'll be able to meet the minions Gru. Margo, Edith, and Agnes, plus new additions from the hit film Sing, like Rosita, Gunter, and Johnny. And this will be an outdoor illumination theater facade. So it'll be a theater that you can't really go inside, but you'll be the meet and greet will be outside in a shaded area, which is nice. Throughout the entire mini land of colorful murals and fun photo ops that will celebrate the additional characters from popular illumination films. This will be um basically an illumination slash minion land like we have in universal studios hollywood with um the super silly fun land area and sequel for pets like they have in beijing and japan um in japan it's called minions park but this is universal studios florida's minion land which is really kind of an illumination land so expect i wouldn't be surprised if down the line in another illumination ride like a sing or a sing show um pops up in this area as well even though it's a minion land because again, the uh, sequel of pets in our mini land here in Universal Studios Hollywood. This next often should sound familiar to Universal Studios Hollywood fans, and that is the Minion Cafe. Universal Studios Florida is getting its own mini cafe, which is bigger and probably better than ours. It has some very cool, unique dishes that were at tea, and has a really cool facade as well, or marquee. I mean, look at that. I love the word. The way the word cafe is spelled, it's like the minions made it themselves. It's pretty cool. And it would be really awesome if that eye in the minion logo like blinks every once in a while. It looks kind of static from this um, rendering. There's a screen in there and it starts moving. Or an animatronic and it's just the eye that kind of blinks every once in a while. That would be really awesome. But this new Eliminations Minions Cafe will offer an entertaining dining experience featuring areas to fan favorite minions. Kevin, Stuart, Bob, and Otto. Three different areas. This is how big this area is. Because, you know, our Minion Cafe is pretty small. It's kind of a quick service. There's actually not even any tables here in Hollywood. But in Florida, you have three different areas. So, up the kitchen, we'll guess we'll see uh, the equipment that Minions used to whip up the cafe's menu. Then you have the break room. We'll guess one can dine in the Minions break space, including office safety tips and a vending machine stacked with, uh, yeah, stacked with mischievous items. And then... The dining room should be the biggest room where guests enjoy their meals surrounded by colorful artwork and courtesy of the Minion, which uh, sounds fantastic. And they have some, here's some of the um, items here that they teased. The steak and cheese based sandwich, the Carl's Crispy Cauliflower, 
from just like a kid's meal, but no, no, maybe not. And Agnes's honeymoon soup, which to me does not look appetizing, but uh, I'm sure people will buy it. There's also be an outdoor patio where guests can dine overlooking the fun of the entire land and an express menu if you just want to go and um, pick up an order. Next up, we have the Bake My Day area, which is um, looks fantastic. This is the Minion Street. Bake My Day will be a retail location that will have uh, you know, lots of sweet treats. It'll be a bakery. You'll find Minion-themed sweet treats, cupcakes, smack moons, s'mores, along with a mint exclusive Minion inspired merchandise like apparel, plus shrink wheel, accessories, keychains, and more. Next to that will be Pop Banana, which will have banana flavored popcorn, which will be interesting. I'm sure they'll be quite good um, to some people. I'm not sure how I feel about that, but it, it sounds like it'll be quite appetizing. And lastly, the Freezeway Pops will um, be next to that. That will be a have some popsicles for um, cool off on a hot Orlando day. And the popsicles will be inspired by Gru, the Minions, and Vector. This loca the uh, location will also have beverages, which is quite nice. That is Minion Land. This is um, looks a really, really, really cute and cool area. Definitely an upgrade from what was what is there currently right now. Makes the Universal Studios for a little bit more cohesive, which is awesome, and I can't wait to see what area they revamp next. Are you excited for the Villain Con attraction, Despicable Me, Minion at Mayhem, and or the new retail and dining locations here in this new Minion Land? Some people are curious about Rip Ride Rockets, and now seems kind of out of place. People are saying it should be EV themed to the Minions um, coaster that they have in you know, Despicable Me, Minion at Mayhem, and Super Silly Friendland, or a Singa coaster. What do you guys think about that? That is not a part of rumors, just an idea that people are having since it does seem so out of place. I'm sure it might get a retheme in the future. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Subscribe for more theme park updates. Like this video. Comment below. And as always, have a very minionized day.